What's up JR Business? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since we posted, but we have good reason. We have been doing so many things with the cars and we've been doing so many awesome things with our channels. Yes, channels, plural. We have three, what the heck am I doing? Three channels now. JR Garage, which you guys are probably familiar with, JR Business, which you're watching on now, and then we just launched JR Aviation, an aviation specific channel for all of us who love planes and flying and all that good stuff. If you guys didn't know already, Christian and I have a huge passion for aviation and flying, and that's why we decided to make this third channel. And a lot of you guys kind of pushed us and said, hey, you know, do it, we'd love to see it, we'd subscribe, so we're like, all right, let's do it. So it is currently live. I think we have three or four videos up there now. So be sure to go check it out. And if you go over and subscribe now, you'll be just in time for the giveaway we're doing. So anyone who subscribes, you'll automatically be entered into this massive, awesome giveaway we're doing. So number one prize, you and a plus one guest, family member, friend, whatever, will fly you out to us and we will all together fly on a private jet. Yes, you guys heard that correctly. You can fly on a private jet. All you gotta do is subscribe, drop a comment on some videos, whatever, follow us on Instagram. That would be awesome. And we'll be picking that for the number one prize and then we'll be giving away a GoPro, iPad, JR Garage merch, some posters, things like that. It'll be really, really fun. So it'll be linked down below. Be sure to go check it out. In other news in the car world, I'm just giving you a little quick update before we get into this awesome video talking about e-commerce and Q4, how to maximize your 2018. But anyway, here we go. If you guys didn't know already, we bought a McLaren. <laughs> there she is, she's home. Nah. So we got the Lamborghini, the McLaren, the Ferrari, the other Ferrari, the Bentley. Oh, and we bought a Bentley. I don't know, there's a lot to update you guys on. Just go watch the JR Garage channel, you'll see everything. But we bought this McLaren. Don't worry, I know it looks really disassembled right now. That's because we are mounting the new carbon fiber MSO front bumper, which is gonna make this car look so good. So Christian's gonna be here a little later today. We're gonna mount that. We got new wheels coming for it, all sorts of good stuff. So that'll be some awesome content on the JR Garage channel. Okay. Enough of me talking, that's that's most of the updates. Let's go ahead and hop in the Ferrari, get a start up, it's a warm start, not a cold start, thank goodness, because my neighbors are right there, they would not be happy with how, how loud this car is. I actually have to head over to the store to get some uh, supplies and water for the warehouse. Figured perfect opportunity to stick up a GoPro and talk about uh, business and entrepreneurship. So, let's get to it. So I was looking at the calendar, looking at my phone, and I'm like, oh my goodness, October is like almost upon us. And I thought, perfect, we're about to start Q4, quarter four. Now for us and for many, many other business owners, e-commerce people, Q4 is extremely important in any business regardless. But on e-commerce especially, with holiday shopping, Christmas time period, all of that goodness, it is crucial to execute it correctly to make a lot of money, simple as that. So with our business in particular, we cater to a lot of holiday online shoppers. Like eBay is huge in December, that's our best month always. So one of our stores has a lot of old collectibles, great for like stocking stuffers, things like that. So obviously a ton of industries do super well on eBay in December, not just ours. And in this video, I kinda wanna outline a few things to get you guys going in the right direction. And I found a tunnel, tunnel, overpass, Gotta do some downshifts. All right guys, so we're back at the warehouse. We got all the stuff from the store. Instead of me trying to yell over the Ferrari and you not really being able to hear me since it's so loud, I figured, all right, let me just park the Ferrari, set up the camera here and talk so you guys can clearly hear me. So anyway, like I was saying, this video, I really wanna focus just on eBay primarily because that's our main source of e-commerce sales but you can basically apply a lot of this to Shopify, Amazon, a lot of these things will still hold true over there. But regardless, if you guys are going into Q4 and you're not already on e-commerce, whether you're just a normal dude who wants to get into entrepreneurship and have a side income, great. If you're a pre-existing business that isn't already on e-commerce, what are you doing? You should definitely be on e-commerce. And if you're like me and already have a store and wanna grow, here are some trips, tips and tricks on how to do that. So I've made plenty of eBay videos in the past, 
Go check them out, they're all over the channel. The last two ones were very, very in-depth and detailed, talking about eBay SEO, talking about five things, I think it was five, five or 10 things you need to know um, before getting on eBay or how to start on eBay, all that good stuff. So you can find a bunch of good information there. But for this video, I wanna mention one thing that I haven't touched on before or really gotten in depth on, and that is eBay sponsored promoted listings. Now, I haven't touched on this before because I was still kind of honing it in, playing with it, because it's a fairly newly introduced program by eBay. Now, a little bit of background and what they are and why they're important and why I'm telling you about them. So. Before on eBay, it was all about SEO. Get your listing to the top of search results and that's how, you're, that's how you're gonna drive the most customers to your listing, get the most sales, and be in front of the most people. Obviously, that, that's how eBay was. And it was tricky to get to the top, hone in the SEO. That's why I've made previous videos talking about that. While SEO is still very, very important, there is a way to, let's say, speed up, bypass, a catalyst. Promoted listings are a catalyst to getting your listings to the top organically. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, promoted listings, what they are, you are not paying eBay directly hundreds of dollars to get your listings to the top before you even sell anything. No. Promoted listings work by giving a portion of your sales to eBay. They take a portion of your sales to put your listing higher at the top. So you don't pay them anything until your listing sells. That's what's nice. Only when somebody buys from that listing, from the promoted listing, put to the top by eBay, then they will charge you. So it's pretty fair if you think about it. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my laptop real quick here and show you guys what these sponsored listings look like. One important note is they blend in pretty well with the other listings. So I'm gonna go ahead and search up Adidas Ultra Boost, for example, and we're gonna go ahead and sort by best match, and let's see if we can find a sponsored listing. Boom, there we go. The first listing is a sponsored listing. As you guys can see, in gray small text right here, it says sponsored. That lets you know it is a promoted listing. So for instance, this is not a promoted listing. This is not, nope, this one is. So two out of the top six are. So if we go ahead and click on this, um, now it looks like a completely normal listing. You can't even tell it's a sponsored listing. Once we're on here, if we go ahead and purchase this item, however much percent that this dude set up this listing with, that he will be paying to eBay. So if we purchase from here, he is paying a fee to eBay to um, get his listing toward the top with promoted listings. So if we scroll further down, we can see most of these are just generic. Okay, there's one, there's another one for example, these two. There you go, that's how you tell guys, it's literally just that simple, just the gray little word saying sponsored, um, and that is what lets you know promoted listings. So this guy, he is paying quite a bit to be number one, that's for sure. And then I'm also gonna show you guys what it looks like on an item to add the promoted listing. So I'm at the bottom of one of my items. I just revised it um, and I can go ahead and click boost my items visibility. And here I can select the rate. I can say I want, you know, 2% or I want 20%. It just depends how crazy you wanna go. Um, obviously with the trending rate being 8.1%, if you wanna go above that, you don't need to go much above that to be uh, at the top of the spend group. Um, but right around 8% could be the sweet spot. Again, you just gotta play with it and see what works for you. But that's all you do to change it and then you click update listing or submit listing with the promotion and you are good to go with your sponsored listing. Now. Where is it a good thing and where is it a bad thing? Believe it or not, these promoted listings can be very, very helpful or they can run you out of a lot of money. So you have to be careful what you're doing with them. And now I'll tell you which ones to use them on. So promoted listings are fantastic for a new item that you're just putting out there that you know is gonna do well, but it needs a little needs a little push to get it going. That's what I use promoted listings for the most. When I know it's a good item and maybe organically it would take weeks, if not months, to get toward the top of search results, you can start using promoted listings. It'll get toward the top quick, because you're paying for it, of course, and then once you start to get some sales on that item, get some reviews, get some positive feedbacks from it, get some organic searches, it'll really start to snowball really quickly. Like, you'll get to there way quicker than waiting months to do it organically. And you know you are paying something, you are paying a percentage of your sales, but in the end of the day, it's, it's worth it, depending on what percentage you um, give eBay. And that percentage can range from 1% to 100%. I don't know why you would do anywhere toward uh, the 
top end of that percentage, but eBay actually gives you a trending percentage. So based on your item, they'll tell you, okay, your competitors are you know, approximately giving this percentage toward their promoted listings. And you can do above that if you're really trying to get to the top, or you can do less than that if you just want something up and really get some action but not spend too much. Um, or you can just do the trending rate, whatever you decide. Um, but that's normally, depending on your category and industry, I've seen it where it's 5% to 10%, um, sometimes lower, sometimes higher, it just depends what you're doing. Some listings are good to promote and some other, others aren't. The best ones to promote are replenishable, restockable, my cash cow listings as I've talked about before. And my buddy Prince, actually, Prince would tell you guys know him, he's eBay wizard, he is killing it on eBay. We've made videos in the past before, Again, be sure to check them out. But he made a video talking about promoted listings and you're gonna wanna check that out. If you want an in-depth, data-rich um, look at it, it'll be linked down below or I'll put it up on the screen. Prince, great friend, he outlined it and very, very good information over there. And he was on the same, same wavelength of use them on replenishable listings. If I had you know, one-off um, Adidas Ultra Boost, maybe you're a flipper and you found them at a Goodwill store or at a yard sale or something, you bought them from a friend. I would not use a promoted listing for like a one-off shoe. That's, a, it's a bad idea because if a customer is looking for this Ultra Boost, looking for this price range and this size, they're looking for something very specific anyway, they'll eventually find your listing if they look hard enough, which they probably will if they're looking for something very specific. So if they're gonna find you anyway, what's the point of paying to be at the top and competing with other people who shouldn't even be your competition if your customer is very specific? So I would not do it in that regard. Prime listings, in my opinion, once again, are the restockable, replenishable items that you know will do good long-term, that you can have hundreds if not thousands of quantity of and you can just crank through them. That's the best case scenario for promoter listings. So now why do, why do I mention all this promoted listing stuff? That's because uh, last couple videos I've gotten some comments saying, you know, oh, to build up your SEO it takes so long and I don't know if it's worth it for me. eBay seems kind of hard. Well, yes, in the past it was quite, quite a long time, like I mentioned, to get your listings to the top and to really get cranking on eBay. But with this new promoter listings, like I said, it, it's just a catalyst. It can cut your time um, by quite a bit, meaning you can get started on eBay now, like I said, you still need feedback points and some credibility on eBay because regardless, if people find you through a promoted listing or a normal listing, they're gonna look at your feedback score, they're gonna look at your other items, they're gonna make sure you know what you're doing before they buy from you. So you still need that in place. So regardless, it takes some time to get going on eBay in that regard. But that is why I highly suggest in every single video to right now, if you haven't already, Go open an eBay account, start buying some items on there just to get familiar with the buying side of things, and then once you're ready, start selling some items. And what, if, whether you're buying something for a dollar or a thousand dollars, you get a feedback point. So if they leave you feedback, you're building up feedback. So when you go to sell items, if you have, I would say, mm, having at least a hundred, at least, is good. You know, I have tens of thousands, and that really helps, but having more than, you know, if, if somebody's trying to sell items with three feedback points, A, eBay's not gonna be as nice with your SEO and promoting you because you don't know as much of what you're doing on eBay most likely, and B, customers are just gonna be like, ah, oh, three points, am I really gonna buy from this guy who's done three transactions, or am I gonna buy from this guy who's done 3,000? So that's why feedback is all, always also important, that's why I tell you guys every time, open an eBay account, it's free, it's easy to do, and just start getting familiarized with the platform. And it'll help when you've been buying on eBay, it'll help knowing what you look for and then you can be in kind of the customer's eyes and you'll think, okay, I should do this, this, and this when I'm selling to replicate what I want when I'm buying. So that's why that's important. But I thought I would share that with you guys, talk about that new kind of program by eBay. It has been very useful for me, but you gotta hone it in. Don't, don't, don't start with some massive like budget and don't put the bar all the way up to I'm gonna give 40% to eBay so I'll be at the top of all promoted listings. You don't wanna do that. Just start little by little, hone it in and watch it closely. Let the data do the talking. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And the other time not, not to use eBay promoted listings is when you're already doing really, really good in SEO. Now what do I mean by that? 
Again, if you are a reseller of shoes and you're selling these uh, replenishable listings for these Ultra Boost shoes, and you type in Adidas Ultra Boost, and you're like number one or number two already, what's the point of putting up a promoted listing just to like compete with your own listing? Because it, it's not like a promoted listing takes over your existing listing. You, once you put out a promoted listing, you still have your original one out there, and then you have another one for, promote, for your promoted listing. A lot of people don't realize that. So if you're already, say you're number one slot, and then you put a, up a promoted listing, um, and you become number two slot, you will have the first and the second slot, one as an organic search, and then one as the promoted listing. So if somebody clicks on your first one and buys from there, great, no fees. You're number one, that's, that's your non-promoted listing. But if somebody goes to your first one, clicks out, and then wanders to your second one, or your promoted listing, and buys from there, you're paying the fees, so you kind of get screwed over there. So just be, just be conscientious of that stuff. When your SEO is cranking, you're doing good, you don't need to do a promoted listing. That's why I say, use that as a catalyst to get your listing going and to get the traction and the ball rolling, build up some feedbacks, build up some reviews on that page, on that listing, and like I said, let the snowball do the rest. So anyway, back to the overall topic of this video, e-commerce Q4, get into it if you're not already. Same, same things apply to Shopify um, or Amazon. Q4 is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge for me. My store relies on it heavily. And like Prince, my buddy Prince, he does electronics. Oh my goodness, the amount of holiday sales he does, Christmas presents, all that stuff. He is gonna have a pop in fourth quarter and he's killing it right now. So, And like I said, guys, always have your eyes open for the next good deal, the next flip out there. If you're just starting out and you wanna just start with baby steps, like that's totally fine. eBay is a great platform for that. You don't need to go out and start a Shopify store and pay all the subscriptions and build all your own website. It's all done through eBay, it's simple. You can just post a listing. That's, that's why it's, eBay is very beginner friendly, but always keep your eyes open, like I was just saying. So yesterday, case in point, perfect. Yesterday, I was getting dinner with my dad and we went to the mall and I stopped by a shoe store that I stop in every once in a while, like where I bought my Ultra Boost, just seeing if they happen to have any deals and I go to their Adidas section, and they have three NMD colorways, different colorways, all on sale for $49.99. And these, I think, they either retail for $130 or $180. So that is a super good deal, and anyone who knows shoes and NMDs would know that any colorway NMD is brand new, is worth way more than 50 bucks. Like, you can't get them for 50 bucks. So anyway, I looked these shoes up on eBay just to see what they were selling for and make sure there was no, like, even better deal out there. Obviously, there wasn't. The cheapest buy it now listing, cheapest, like, replenishable listing from a reputable seller was $80. $80 for these shoes when I got them for 50. So, entrepreneur says, well, if I can buy them for 50 and sell them online for 80, let me do that and flip them and make some money. And that's like straight up just retail arbitrage. Like you're not even doing anything but middlemanning these shoes. So guys, always have your eyes open. I'm considering going back there and just buying a ton of them and selling them on eBay. Comment down below if I should do that. I, that would be really fun. Guys, comment down below if you want me to do a complete walkthrough video, buying these shoes from the store, making the eBay listing, sharing, you guys, um, sharing with you guys promoted listings, my strategies for that, writing the perfect title, description, pictures, um, which I've touched on in previous videos. Again, making the perfect listing, it is also important. Um, but yeah, let me know if you wanna see that. That would be cool to walk you guys through step by step and show you guys exactly how you can do it. Like, I'm not even in the shoe industry, but I know a good deal when I see one and I can flip it on eBay to make money if I want. So, there you guys have it, case in point. There are deals everywhere out there. Go to yard sales. People always ask me like, where do you find good deals? Guys, like I started by hustling at yard sales, pawn shops, um, Goodwill, thrift stores. Like there are so many good deals out there. You just have to find them. Like people do not want to go through the hassle sometimes of selling something online. Literally as simple as that. Buy low, sell high. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want more eBay content. I'll be really happy to make it. I absolutely love eBay as a platform. Although there are some things that you always get stuff you all gotta deal with on eBay, but overall it's a great platform. Comment down below any questions, video suggestions. Leave a big like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. Subscribe to our other two channels, JR Garage and JR Aviation. Stay tuned for all this car stuff. It's gonna be crazy next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.